Is Mexico and Los Cables on your bucket list? Stay tuned for my two-part special on everything about Los Cables. My very special guest today is Leanne Lance, co-owner of Picture This Travel, based in Kansas City, Missouri. Together with her partner, Sherry Clark, they founded Picture This Travel in 2015 by combining their two award-winning cruise holidays franchises. Specializing in multi-destination vacations for individuals, families, and groups, Leanne and Sherry and their team of travel advisors put their 30-plus years experience to work for their clients in Missouri, Kansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Hi, Leanne. Welcome to RTE Travel Talk. Today we're jetting off to Los Cabos, Mexico, but just before I get there, did I miss anything on that intro that you might like to add? We have um, an independent contractor in San Antonio. Oh, fantastic. So another another new team member. Yep. So Leanne, one of the questions that I get over and over is, you know, where can I travel right now? Because most people are so over being stuck in the house. And I know that Mexico is one of the destinations that's open to travel with re relatively few restrictions. And I also know that your team just recently returned from there. So why don't you start with a quick review of where you went? and the restrictions for traveling there, if any? Well, Mexico is very open. Mm -hmm. So the only, um, you don't have to be tested to go into Mexico. You just have to have a negative test within 72 hours of departure to get back to the United States. So that's really the only restriction that you have. Um, while you're there, there are places where they will probably still ask you to wear a mask if you're indoors um, or in close quarters with people. And that's primarily because the Mexican population isn't as vaccinated as we are here in the United States. So uh, it, may, it, it goes to reason. And with respect, we followed their guidelines. It was very easy to do. So uh, we actually visited um, 11 resorts in two and a half days. So wow. it was very, we took all nine of our agents, which is very unusual to get to take all of your agents on a fan, we went with one of our suppliers and we uh, architected it primarily to look at luxury five-star properties. Okay. Uh, we wanted to see the properties that make Cabo so unique, very different. Some of them were properties that have, uh, where the names are, you would know the names in Cancun as well, um, or other destinations like Punta Cana, but some right. of them are very unique and one-off. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted to see those properties. We do quite a bit of luxury travel and uh, Cabo is just a stunning destination. We hadn't been there for a while. So it was an opportunity to see how things had recovered since the hurricane, see a lot of these new properties. And you know, Cabo is very different. It's a desert. So Puerto Vallarta is really a jungle. It's mountainous and it's a jungle. The Yucatan, Yucatan Peninsula is fairly flat um, and it's on the Caribbean side. So, um, Cabo San Lucas, San Jose del Cabo is on the Pacific side and it's in Baja, basically that extension of Baja, California. And the town right. itself, San Jose del Cabo, got started as part of the California mission system. So there's actually still an old mission in San Jose del Cabo that you can visit. So we actually took all of our agents, not only to these properties, but we gave them uh, a full day where we could explore all that the region has to offer from an excursion standpoint. We took them all the way from San Jose through the corridor down to Land's End in the marina area of Los Cabos. So they got a great uh, education if they had never been to Cabo before. And those of us that had, um, we enjoyed seeing it all again. And we even visited the glass factory, which is a really fun thing to do there. So oh, fantastic. But Cabo is very, very different. It is extremely beautiful. So when you land at the airport in Cabo, the road from the airport into San Jose del Cabo, which is the first area that you get to, extremely well manicured. Um, it's landscaped, the corridor highway, the Trans Peninsula uh, um, Highway, very well landscaped. Um, the road is great and, and everything was beautiful. Bougainvillea blooming everywhere. Um, it is, um, it's, I mean, to be honest, it, it feels a little bit like Palm Springs by the ocean. So it's, wow. it's, it's very, very lovely, very safe. Um, the, the people are just fantastic. And what makes Cabo kind of an unusual all-inclusive destination is that it's, it's not all all-inclusive. There are all-inclusive resorts, but a lot of people just kind of like Puerto Vallarta go there because they want to be 
a local. They want to go to the local restaurants, the local shops. They don't want to stay at the resort the whole time. They want to go out and about. So a lot of the luxury properties there are not all inclusive. Right. Which is, so it's a great variety. And we saw um, a mixture of both. What I know of Ca Los Cabos is that it's on the Baja ha Peninsula. And the resort area is, they call it the resort corridor, which includes the beachfront properties and golf championships. It's a fairly happening destination. Um, and now you mentioned that it's all of the properties, not all are all inclusive. So you could stay at one property and walking distance to other activities and things. Well, it depends on the property, whether it's walking distance, but it's certainly within a, a taxi right away. So if you wanted to go to a farm to table restaurant like Tamarindo or Flora right. Farm, you could easily grab a taxi and go do that for an evening. You could go down to the marina. You could go down to the little town of San Jose del Cabo which is charming and has an art walk on Thursday nights. They just brought it back two weeks before we, we got back uh, into Cabo. They just brought it back. It had been shut down because of COVID. And right. it's a wonderful experience because they this charming little town, which is very clean, very tidy, very safe, has lights across the streets, you know, the, the, the bulb lights. Yeah. Uh, they, on Thursday nights, they open it up. They open up the doors to the shops and the galleries and the restaurants. A lot of times there's free samples of tequila or wine that you have and you wander in and out. It's a very relaxed atmosphere and usually musicians playing on the street. It's, it's great. It's a great experience. It's one of my favorite destinations. It really is. Even though it's a desert, mm -hmm. um, it is beautifully landscaped. The whole area is very, very beautiful. Um, but I want to mention a lot of people think that you can go to Mexico any time of year and have the same experience. In Cabo and really in Puerto Vallarta, September and October, or really up to mid-October, very rainy. That's when they get the majority of their rain. So super hot, super humid. And uh, and, and so I try to steer people away from, from Cabo and Puerto Vallarta in those six that's six weeks time frame but really from the end of october really all the way through to to may june july it's a wonderful destination because it's a desert it doesn't have as much humidity as some of the other destinations do like like cancun uh but and the and the ocean breezes are wonderful but yeah. i also want to point out this is not a destination for people that typically like to swim in the ocean so cabo okay has a very strong rip current so there are a few swimming beaches that are safe to swim on, but the majority of all of the resorts will tell you, you cannot swim in the ocean there. It's just too rough. And certainly um, if you were, were with us, you would have heard the waves crashing at night. Even They were very, very loud. Yeah. Um, it, of course, I love that. It, it makes yeah. me go to sleep very easily. But the it's just very rough, so you don't want to you don't want to, uh, to to go in the ocean unless um, you're on a swimming beach. And I'm not even going to say if you're a good swimmer because good swimmers can easily be drug out by a, a rip current. Yeah. So you want to stay out of the ocean. And uh, a lot of people um, love to go fishing there. There's some you can fish right off the shore. You don't have to be on a boat. You can fish right mm -hmm. from the sand and pull in some great fish. But, but try to stay out of the, the swimming of, unless you're at a specific swimming beach. I can identify with that. That's really good advice for, for people to know when they go there. Yeah, that's, you know, if you, if you, if you want to swim in the ocean, you know, go to Cancun, go to Puerto Vallarta. Uh, if you want to look at a beautiful beach. And the nice thing about Cabo is they don't have the sargassum issue with the seaweed. Right. Um, they have very little seaweed there. The water is extremely clean. It's a little bit cooler. Obviously, the water is going to be a little bit colder than it is in the Caribbean side. Yeah. But um, but it's absolutely gorgeous water. It's blue green. It is um, exceptionally clean. And what I like is that usually in the morning and the evenings, you can watch the rays jumping up out of the water and slapping back down. So they, they're they constantly, you know, jumping out of the water. And, you, you know, in the morning, you'll hear this kind of flap, flap, flap. And it sounds like a pancake has been, you know, flapped <laughs> on, the, on the water. And it's actually a, a ray. Um, I think they're called actually mobula could have that wrong, but um, they're a form of array right. and very popular. There's some people eat them. I don't know if they're good eating or not, but uh, they're, they're big. And what I love is that they jump far enough out of the water that the sun will catch their little bellies and they'll reflect on the water. It's really pretty. Oh, so, oh neat. 
Yeah, I could sit there and watch them. Um, yeah. well, they're they're big rays. You know, you've seen rays. They're yeah. they're big. You know, they're they're fairly big. So it's not hard to see them. Wow. It's not hard to hear them. <laughs> so that's one of my favorite things to do in Cabo is to to do that. And if you go in the winter, so January through March, you typically will see a lot of whales there as well. Right. So because they've come down from Alaska and uh, from the colder waters to yep. to uh, to have their babies in the winter and the warmer waters. And so you get a lot of, a lot of great whale, whale. Yeah, that's a, that's a migration route for the humpback. Yeah, 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 it is. So obviously then, obviously one of the things that you can do there is whale watching. Absolutely. <laughs> During certain parts of the year, you can't do it all year long, you yeah. know, but, um, yeah. uh, it's, it's very easy to be at a beachfront resort there in the winter and watch the whales. So, you know, it's, the weather is going to be a little bit cooler in the January through March timeframe mm -hmm. um, and a little bit windier. So it's going to be right. a little bit windier there in that time frame. So uh, I really like that April, May timeframe. I also like that November and December timeframe for, for Cabo. I think that makes it. In terms of, in, in terms of climate or weather, what can people expect for, for temperatures? Well, I, I you know, they, it does get into the nineties in the summer months. So it does get hot. Mm -hmm. um, but in that um, November, the nice thing about November, December is the water's been being warmed up all, all um, summer. Right. So the water's going to be warmer in November than it is in January. Right. Uh, water starts to get cold in the January, February, March timeframe. When we were there, um, it was uh, in, in mid-May, it was the water was still pretty cold. Mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't have been water I would want to um, swim in. But because I don't swim at Cabo, because of the rip currents, it's not a problem. The, water, the all of the swimming pools are heated and pretty much at all the resorts. So not hard to find a place to go get wet. In terms of the types of destination that it, destination that it is, is it a family destination or do you recommend it for uh, more couples? And, and uh... oh, I think both. I think there's some great family resorts there. A lot mm -hmm. of things for the family to do. You know, there's ATV excursions and there's zip lining and all the typical things you would expect to do. You know, all the, all the typical things that you would expect to do, but it's a great destination because you can um, easily go into the cities. You know, it's so easy to grab a taxi, go in, go down to the marina, uh, explore uh, restaurants and shops down there. You can also go into the little town of San Jose del Cabo, uh, which is uh, so charming and a great place to, to go and, and buy some of your you know treasures that you want to bring home. Right. So I always, I always usually buy silver when I'm in Mexico, so I can bargain on it pretty well. <laughs> lots, 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 lots of shopping to be had. Yeah. I mean, who, who knows if I'm getting a bargain, but to me it's a bargain. So there yeah. you go. one, one, one enjoys the barter. Exactly. <laughs> well, Leanne, this has been excellent. I really appreciate you being with us today. Is there anything else you'd like to add, add about Mexico and Cabo before we wrap up? Well, you know, the thing that is nice is that Mexico remains one of those destinations where the people really make it. The people that are there that you that um, that you that you meet, you visit with, that are taking care of you, they always put their hand on their heart and say it is a pleasure, and they truly mean it. Yeah. And so I am a, always been a huge fan of Mexico. Makes me sad when people say they're scared to go to Mexico because I've never been scared in Mexico. I think that you can find trouble if you're looking for it anywhere you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, and you can any any city here in the States, you can find you can find trouble if you're looking for it. Uh, but I've never had trouble there. So yeah. I am a big fan of, of visiting there. And Cabo was just a true pleasure to revisit after having having been gone for a while and, and not really on purpose. It just, you know, you, you've got places to go and, and things to do. You can't go everywhere every year. So I was really happy to go back and see it doing so well. It is a, is a thriving destination that is uh, truly beautiful. So like, I think I might've said this before, think kind of, it's almost like Palm Springs by the ocean, right. you know, very, very uh, beautiful and manicured and, and well-kept. Wonderful. So, yeah. Wonderful. We all loved it. So, Leanne, if people want to um, contact uh, you or your uh, travel advisors, what's the best way? Well, you can always email us. So mm -hmm. you can email us at admin at picturethistravel.com. You can uh, phone us on our 888 number. So 888-233-4640. And uh, if you're out of the country and you want to contact us, it's uh, 816-744-4101. So we're pretty easy to find. Sherry, my partner, she specializes in group travel. 
Right. And I really specialize in custom uh, FIT. Of course, we all do Alaska, Hawaii, all inclusives in Mexico, the Caribbean. We all do those. But um, I do quite a bit of uh, FIT in Europe, as do really most of my ICs. And then we do um, a decent amount of Australia, New Zealand. And then we actually have one agent that specializes in Disney and Universal. So lots of experience. Yeah. Yeah. We have a really we have a really good group of folks um, that, that work in our agency, and we're just feel very blessed because everybody loves to travel, everybody loves to share their information. So yeah. it's all great. All right, Leanne. Well, this has been wonderful. Here's a wish for all the greatest success this year, next year, and into 2023. Look forward to seeing you again sometime. Why will we would love to? We'll get Sherry on here next time too. So exactly, exactly. <laughs> And that about wraps it up for this week, folks. Thank my special thanks to Leanne. Stay tuned next week when Leanne and I discuss her favorite resorts in Mexico and Los Cabos. If you have any questions about Los Cabos or Mexico, I'll leave Leanne's contact information in the description. If you have any questions for us, just leave a comment. We always respond. And as always, folks, a like and subscribe is certainly appreciated. And until next week, happy travels. <laughs>